Good day, feasibly frozen friends. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Final Fantasy IX. It's episode number 39 of Final Fantasy IX. Thanks very much for joining us. If you were here the last time out, we escaped Kuja's Desert Palace with Kuja and Zorn and Thorn escaped with Aiko. They've kidnapped her, taken her here on Kuja's airship. This question mark. Of course, if you missed out on any of that, there's a card at the top right to point you back in the direction of the most recent episode of the Let's Play. And of course, you can always check out the playlist also in a card and it's in the description below. And of course, the playlist will be at the end of the episode. But let's uh, continue the Triple Baker's Dozenth episode. It's, yeah, 39 is uh, Triple Baker's Dozen. Yeah, so let's continue and carry on. We're already 21 hours deep into this Let's Play before the start. 21 hours and 7 minutes, I looked it up. <laughs> That's how far in we're with uh, this Let's Play. So uh, I guess we're up to 21, um, 21 hours and 8 minutes now. So let's just carry on and go into the question mark. Yeah, stop yawning, Zidane. This is actually, I, I honestly am completely lost at this point. Like, I do not remember this at all. We are at Estogaza. Estogaza in the mountains with flame coming out the top. So we'll have to see. Very jazzy. Uh, there's encounters out here. Are you kidding me? So as I was saying, it's a nice jazzy little tune here. Reminds me a lot of Gran Turismo. Except that the jazzy tunes of Gran Turismo aren't accompanied by random battles every 10 seconds. There we go. Maybe inside will uh, protect us from the random battles. It's just the same two birds. Ever got rugas or something like that? Was that every ten seconds? Oh, hello. <laughs> Does Fiffy ever not fall flat on his face? What do you beggars want? You are in a holy place. Keep the noise down. Hmm. Just like the other pointy hats. No manners at all. Pinty hat. Hey, mister, what did you just say? Have you seen some guys that look like my friend here? How dare you address me so? I am the priest of Estogaza, the holy place in which you stand. Mind your tongue, child. Are you in league with the that brazen crew? Tell me where they went. Was there a little girl with them? My friend's life is in danger. Tell me what you know now. All life is equal. The living will return to the stars. Through the path of souls of the shimmering island. Uh huh. What are you talking about? Didn't the black mages have a girl with them? She's our friend. Didn't everyone from the black mage village come here? Tell me. I just watched them. Besides, they didn't do anything wrong. Unlike you. They barged in. Hundreds of them. So that was the dreaded Black Mage army. They headed straight for Mount Gulug without even looking at me. Yeah, that one took a time to check out the fire, though. Mount Gulug. An enormous volcano that went extinct in the days of old. It's Zorn and Thorn! My voice broke while doing that. So let me try it again. It's Zorn and Thorn! And Kuja. Yes, step out of my way, old man. I don't need to deal with your bullshit right now. I have souls to sacrifice. Anyway, uh, legend has it that a race of great moles once lived within the caverns. Okay. That was very long ago. The bold people are extinct. No mortal has entered those depths ever since the entrance was mysteriously sealed by the bold people. Better than the crab people. Crab people. Crab people. <laughs> they passed through here and went straight through to Mount Gulu. Yes, yes, we heard. And what about the girl? Yeah, one of them had him tucked under his arm. Yeah, pretty much. And this got to be Aiko. Well, I mean, how many other little girls have they kidnapped? Black Mage, yeah, 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 shut up. Which way do we go? There's a right, they'll always go right. I suppose we could have gone up because that's where the way they headed. 
I get cold so easy. I wish it was warmer here. You live in a freaking mountain, an ice mountain. Anybody else have anything intelligent to say? Bishop will get angry if you talk too loud. Well, the bishop's a bit of a prick then. The Shimmering Island is the path of souls, you know. No, I don't. It's very interesting. It's very, um... You can see where they've borrowed some of the ideas for, like, a lot of fire and a lot of, like, you know, big circles and the rooms off to the side. Very much borrowed, again, for Final Fantasy X. But, uh, I digress, and let's take a look. All right, a successful shopping trip later. Let's go back a little row left. Oh. Sometimes we meet here secretly. Ooh. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. What if I say sometimes we meet? See ya. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. How about you and me go see the Shivering Island? I hope you get kicked by a horse. <laughs> uh, just get the heck away from Oh, that's it, Ain. Some things don't change. If the glow of the Shimmering Island stops, it means the Path of Souls is closed. It's all very Final Fantasy, uh... Final Fantasy X, Path of Souls, Shimmerings, you know, stuff, flame circles, you know, it's like... Yeah. Pilgrimages, yeah, 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 that's very Final Fantasy X. I don't care. I them. very few people come to visit Nessus. Shut up, I've... Shit. I was just trying to get through them quick. I did not want to spend 100 gil of my money on that shit. Good, he's done talking, though. I can go up the stairs and get the hell out of here. Hello, it's a Moogle! It's Magrika! Do we have a letter for you? No, I don't. I got this letter this morning. I don't know who sent it. It scared me. Kubo, read it with me. From Artemisia to Mag Magrika. Magrika, I'm in trouble. I use too much. Do you have more? You don't, do you? Oh, what am I going to do? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> now we can go up or to the right. Now we're gonna go up first and see what's off this. Is that Shimmering Island? Or whatever the shit it's called. I guess, I guess not. I don't suppose there's any hidden treasure along here? No, sometimes they do that in Final Fantasy Saz. I guess we're going to the right. Always, always go right. Unless the path is blocked, in which case you're kind of suck going left. But you know, it is what it is. And it's a random battle, that's what it is. Starting to really hate these random battles. I keep getting killed doing them. All right, onwards and upwards up the stairs, and we'll see what is next. Mount Gulug. That is what is next. Well, there's no point in cutting off the episode here because we're like 12 minutes in, so we're not even probably closer to 10. Should have checked to see if there's any other way to go. Maybe we'll see if there's any other way to go. I don't think so. No, it's, it's literally just into this abandoned building. Former home of the mole people. All right. Whoa, what the hell? I'm assuming that was Kuja's silver dragon that flew over top of us. But, uh, what's this now? Oh, I'm on a rope. I'm on a rope. Take a look at me because I'm sliding on a rope. Is this, oh, what's this do? Hmm, pull the lever. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, just leave it for now. Didn't even have a good switchy sound, so I can't even, I can't even call it a Jesus lever. Let's go, uh, let's go to the right. Why am I going to the left? And you can always go right. Oh, to a Moogle. It's Mulan! Wasn't that a Disney movie? Oh, well, well that was, that was pointless. Thanks, Mulan. Oh, what was, is that just, uh, yeah. Oh, no, there's something in this corner. A wing edge! Memory serves as a throwing implement for Amaranth. For all, well, maybe I can use it in this random battle. All right, well, let's carry on to the right. 
Oh my god, there's so much to exp Like, there's so much to this level right now. You know, it's very hard to maintain a train of thought when you're interrupted every 20-ish seconds by another random battle. It's kind of annoying that way. I get it, it's Final Fantasy, that's what it does, but I mean, it just... Doesn't mean I have to like it. So we pick up a Gaia gear. And have to run back this way. Well, at least it was an adventure that netted us something. Except for, you know, a few... Oh, hang on, what was that? Bulletin board, I... Heard you should pull the lever down a second time. Yoon the mole. Well, I did that, so hopefully that means whatever I did there... Yep. There we go. Let's see if there's anything in the corner. No, I'm just probably setting myself up for a... Oh! What the hell? Is... Okay, whatever that is, I think that's part of the... I think that's part of the, of the program there. No, they're both part of the... There's only one on screen, but two in the battle screen. Well, what in the shit are you, son? Kind of painful. Uh, what I could use is uh, Garnet, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, never, never mind. Uh, you know what? Vivi. Just, uh, Thun... Th yeah, Thundaga. Thundaga them both, and Amaranth, if you wouldn't mind, uh, dying, I guess. That's not gone well. Alright, today you're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do the panic, uh... Panic elixir. <laughs> nope, you're dead. Well, if this is their only attack, we're in good shape. The problem is, it's not their only attack. <laughs> are all their are all their attacks um, wind based and like actually secretly healing Vivi? Like because that would be like the greatest and dumbest thing ever. That didn't work. So somehow, some way, this is I've lucked into this being a very beneficial fight for at least Vivi. Oh, and he, <laughs> and he missed that. <laughs> the next one's gonna be an, an air attack anyway. It's gonna I don't know what the hell I put on Vivi, but I mean I ain't gonna complain because this is gonna this is gonna be green. Like, of all the characters to have that, that this is the best one to have it on. Because I know that ain't gonna do shit. Like, they've got one attack that could do damage, and... and I don't think the AI really, like, reacts to you. So we'll see how much damage this does. Okay, okay. Lizaga it is. It does 200 damage, so I've got a few attacks before but he's going to hit me with Twister, so I'm just going to undo that and then some. The only problem is, is it doesn't power up his, um, power up his, uh, transmitter. Because it'd be nice to do double Blizzaga just to expedite matters. But this is going to be one of the... <laughs> I gather this is supposed to be ba based on the fact that three of them are down. That I, I gather this is supposed to be an exceptionally difficult fight. Except for the fact that these two idiots don't realize that, you know, they aren't actually hurting Vivi, you know, like one out of it, you know, four out of every five attacks, sorry. Oh, there goes one. And he's gonna heal up Vivi for the damage. It's just a matter of is it really worth then? Yeah, no, because everyone would die if I just like res them right now. So it's just yeah, just kill. Now, right, GG, no re, Mr. Red Dragon. What a cheap way to win a fight. 
because I've equipped the I've equipped the right thing on the one character. You know what? If it works, it works. <laughs> Forty-four thousand XP. <laughs> Uh, how many levels is that? He's starting at 20, he's 30, 31, 32, 33. Five levels. Five levels from that one freaking battle. <laughs> All because of one equipping, I gotta figure out what the wind element thing is for Vivi then. And never take it off him. 10,000 guilt. Jesus. Okay, I guess I got some healing to do. Alright, so here's what Vivi's got equipped, just for fun. So he's got the Octagon Rod, which teaches him all of the third level um, elemental magics. Absorbs water and wind elemental attack. And then he's got this that absorbs fire, thunder, and water damage. So, I mean, the only thing that can hurt Vivi at this point is basically ice. So it's, that's amazing. All right. Well, that's done. Uh, so we saw all of <laughs> Vivi's basically impervious to damage. I did add... Uh, one thing to Garnet that would uh, help her to absorb the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to save right here. I did add one thing to Garnet that would help her absorb uh, half of... Or at least reduce her wind damage by half. So that's a start. There's a tiara, so she can only have it. Uh, we know that we've, we've pulled on that twice. So we can keep going. And go to the left this time. See what's in here. Another Moogle. Oh, there's lots of Moogles in this place. Oh, no, we want it to visit. No, no, no. Let me go down. And it's, it, controls are a little difficult at times. It's Mo Mogtica. He's got a shop, but it just sells, you know, you know, generic stuff. But we will take a look at your Mognet. I've received a mail lately, Kupo. No, no. All right. I don't know why, like, you've got one that's over... I assume there's something that's coming back down from this that's going to try and kill me. Um. Now, didn't I just come out of there, or no? No. All right, well... Oh! More dragons. Man. We know Ku just got a silver dragon. I didn't realize he had red dragons. Not to be confused with the former ROH tag team of the same name. Oh, Red Dragon, singular. Not to be confused with the ROH tag team of the same name. Now we know that these bastards don't like the Lizaga, so we're just going to finish them fast. And then we're going to let Dagger just sit for a minute. It's not like Final Fantasy VIII, where you have to get in on the action if you want to. Uh, if you want to get some XP or some such. But we know Dagger, we're just wait we're waiting for that. Oh, we've got a transfer our friend Amaranth. I don't think we've seen him trance yet. So, uh... No, I was gonna say, I hear... I see him flashing, so he's up. No, he's not. I was gonna say, Zidane's gonna finish him. Oh, nope. Is he not wearing clothes now? Yes, yes, he is nude, and he doesn't have a willy. So you wanted to know what Amaranth... <laughs> So wait a minute, two of them is 44,000 XP. One of them, well I guess, wait a minute. Assuming, let's let's math this out for a second, hang on. So 55,000, that's, like I mean, that's just under, what, uh, just under 12,000 XP, 5594, so it's almost 50, uh, no, sorry, sorry, idiot. Um, yeah, so it's just over 11,000. XP, so it'd be 11,200. Times 4. Times 2, so times 8. Yeah. Sorry, I already multiplied by 2 by getting to 11,200. So yeah. So yeah. So maybe it was just showing, like, 44,000 was just Vivi's share. He got all of it, but the rest of it was split out between the rest of them. Does that make any sense? Any Final Fantasy experts watching? Yeah, I realize that's probably no one unless somebody watches it like 10 years down the road to learn about Final Fantasy IX. Or in the unlikely event, I, you know, get more than 30 subs and somebody goes through the back catalog. Hi! 
This is, uh, this is the fall of, this is what, September of 2017. Hello in the year 2041. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe 20, uh, maybe, maybe just 2040. That would be, that would be the 40th anniversary, because this came out in 2000. Hello in the year 2050. Somebody going back and watching for the FF9 50th, well, 50th gold anniversary, right? So the FF9 golden anniversary. <laughs> It's going through inviting a Let's Play. See, I'm allowed to say shit like this because nobody's watching my Let's Plays. Is it? Well, this one, anyway. Nobody's watching this one. Ex so... Um... I don't mind. Not for this one, anyway. I mean, people are watching the... All oh, Afrin Elixir, are you shitting me? People are watching the, uh... Doom and the other ones, so... Unless, of course, you've been watching some of the random stuff that's gone up on the channel, the, uh... Grand Prix, not the Grand Prix 2, the F1 2018 wish list. And actually, it's tomorrow that the, uh, Doom, Doom, if you're, if you're watching this, tomorrow, Doom in 100 seconds goes up. I guess we can't walk out the side there. No, I just came out of there. Back out, back out. So we'll go back this way. There's something up top there. I guess there was a reason why they had the, uh, that thing there. The, uh, Moogle. So, be well. Now, does it give us an option? Climb up or climb down? Yeah, it does. Let's climb up because I just want to see if there's a way left. If not, we'll just cut back down to there. And we'll see you in the next episode, but... Ah, there is. There's a, uh, I somehow found my way over to here. Bulletin board. Don't forget to pull the lever down when you first use the well. I'm pretty sure we pulled a to- Ooh, wait. Ah, a lot of gill. Go spend some of this. Now, come back in. Go back in, you fool. I'm doing all this, and then we're gonna go down the, uh, down the thing next time, but that's ne even I, in my infinite wisdom, know sometimes you gotta have a little tease for the next episode. So we'll go down the lever. Ladder. <laughs> lever. We gotta be something on this platform here. We just gotta find it in the way in there. The red hat. Oh, we bought one of those. We literally just bought one of those. It raises your fire damage, but not your uh, fire defense. And after that last dragon fight, I decided to spend the 45,000 gil that I had. And, uh, also managed to pick up a letter for our friend Mulan here. From Mogrica, who is just outside of, uh, Estogaza there. So let's read this letter from Mogrica. So, Artemisian rubbed it all over himself. The machine needs to function properly, Kubo. I know how he must have felt. I used it on myself once, too. It's a wonderful thing, but... I see, that's why we haven't been receiving mail lately, Koopo. <laughs> I'm the worst, and I love it. Alright, well, this, this, I think that's a good place for us to end this time on Final Fantasy IX. Next time out, it's episode 40. That would be the 10th episode, Disc 3. I think we're doing this a lot faster than we did episode, or Disc 2, rather. So where will we go? Let's find out. Well, I gotta go down, right? That's not till next time on Final Fantasy IX, so thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, or if you want to see more Final Fantasy IX, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Final Fantasy IX in the playlist that's on the screen in the description down below, more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent, thanks very much for joining me, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.